regarding the cadaver renal transplant program initial two videos i have covered regarding the theoretical point in this video in short we will see how we will be proceeding once the cadaver in a kidney is available for renal transplant this video is mainly for the dm nephrology residents so only those can only understand in what context i am saying these contents so whenever there is a call comes for the availability of the cadaver kidney just the first step you have to check is what is the blood group and you have to call the around 10 waiting list patient from the cadaver program list the transplant coordinator usually have the number of patient to be called varies from center to center in our center we usually call around 10 patient for example if the the cadaver kidney which is available is of a blood group we will be calling around 10 patients who are in the waiting list who are of a blood group and for almost all of them the dialysis will be started simultaneously why the dialysis because out of which only one patient is going to the going to get the kidney despite that the rest patients are being called because many a times there will be one or any other abnormality so that patient might not be fit for the surgery so that's why we have to call approximately 5 to 10 patients the dialysis will be started when the dialysis for the recipient is going on for all the waitlist recipients who came we have to check whether the patient baseline investigations has been done or not whether all the clearances have been obtained or not whether his viral marker reports other treatment have been optimized or not so that's why the cadaver waitlist patients have to update their list every third monthly so in our center we whenever the third month expires we usually ask them to get the clearance again from the departments like cardio respiratory psychiatry because these clearances usually valid for three months if any of this thing is missing we have to ask them to like we have to call the on duty resident to come and evaluate and to give the clearance meanwhile the basic blood investigation like complete blood crown the basic blood investigation the complete blood count have to be sent kft lft electrolyte values viral markers even though it is done before it have to be repeated chest x-ray ecg have to be done to rule out the patient cardiovascular system is stable prior to the surgery so approximately they will be receiving about five hours dialysis meanwhile the blood sample will be collected from the waitlist patient preferably top three or three to five patient it also varies from center to center the blood sample will be collected and this will be sent for cdc cross match CDC cross match is the complement dependent cytotoxicity cross match. So that's why from the cadaver they have to collect the blood. From the peripheral vein they have to collect the blood so that our waitlist patient will be there around the top. Those who are in the top 5 waiting list, blood sample will be taken meanwhile when the dialysis was going on we will be knowing the approximate top fit patient because majority of the time the patient hemoglobin might be low or he might be having some other infections he might not have received the vaccination these are all the parameters which might be missing or few clearance might not be like complete in the list so we will be knowing approximately which patient is going to be fit so the blood will be sent for the complement dependent cytotoxicity here we can't do any HLA match we can't do flow cross match or luminex test scandal because those are time consuming so only cdc will be done for t cell b cell regarding the cdc we will see in a separate video but cdc will be done with the waitlist recipient and the cadaver cadaver blood sample in that we will come to know so that's why the peripheral blood sample of cadaver is very very important that how they be collected in the cbc vial or kft vial the recipient serum will be 
natural with the T cell and B cell of the uh, cadaver in the cadaver blood sample we have taken with that we will come to know whether the class 1 or class 2 antibodies are present or not so we will get, we'll be getting the result like positive and negative most of the time if this blood group is simple uh, blood group is same unlikely we will have a positive report most of the time it is usually negative that's why we are sending for around three to five patients so at least two or three samples will be negative so the result will be available in ours that's why the team have to be very active like at least we need two or three resident one will be looking at the clearances one will be sending the samples one will be sending the sample for for the cdc cross match so once this step is done what is the other important step meanwhile the transplant coordinator should also come they will be taking care of the no to part they will be that too what they will be doing they will be updating the patient recipients detail in their website and they will be getting the seniority number but the final seniority will be decided by the treating doctor only because we are have called we will be knowing who is the patient who is fit and we have to update all the details in the website and we, in the website also we will be getting the number who is the first person to get the kidney so once the out of the five recipient for example probably around three or four sometimes two might be fit to proceed to the next step what is the next step we are going to start the immunosuppression suppose in this step if four or five patients are there ideally we will be selecting the top two as per the seniority and the no to list we will be taking the top two patient because before entering the voting one patient might get reject might get chances of not fit for surgery but like bp might be uncontrolled or there might be some unforeseen events at the end so that's why we might be giving an immunosuppression to the top two patients during the time of starting dialysis only we have to keep the patient nilper oral and we have to start the drugs what are all the drugs to be started we have to start the patient on pulse steroid just before going into the surgery injection methyl prednisolone 500 milligram and induction atg or injection basal eczemap can be used considering the risk and benefit if the patient will able to tolerate atg preferably atg can be used and this have to be given during the surgery around few minutes prior to the release of the clamp of the vessel that is the once the kidney is about to be perfused before that atg have to be given or basiliximab if basiliximab is giving being given the ideal dose is 20 milligram and this have to be given after four days after the surgery also what immunosuppression to be started tacrolimus at the dose of 0.1 milligram per kg mmf also have to be started in that tablet form if the patient is more than 50 kg give one gram stat dose this also as per the patient weight three milligram or four milligram stat dose can be given so these drugs have to be given so pulse steroids have to be given you have to check the rps before giving this for example if we are giving for the first patient the second patient will receive the pulse steroid acrolimus mmf also one patient will be sent to the OT, where the cadaver kidney is already available so ot the first patient will be going where the induction will be given so the top most fit patient is the top in the list of the waiting list will be getting the cadaver kidney so this is how the allotment is being done and what other drugs to give we have to give a broad spectrum antibiotic coverage also those which is covering gram positive and the gram negative then you have to take care of the gastric issue patient might be nil per oral you have to take care of the dextrose level and all but the overall this is how from the wait list we will be taking one patient and allotting the kidney to the patient So this is one clinical recommendation with respect to what immunosuppression to use. Ideally, ATG can be used if the patients are high immunological risk. Usually, cadaver kidney transplant is being considered as a high immunological risk cases. So that's all. Like.
part 1, part 2, part 3, almost all the videos are uploaded now. This is how I can have a kidney. In, in summary, I have told.